into my senses mm -hmm. and God released me, you know, to be free, mm -hmm. to know what his word says, mm -hmm. you know, that we are when we believe. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we, there's a freedom that only God can give after that point. And I'm just thankful. I hope it helps somebody else. Don't be deceived by the mm -hmm. enemy, right. but always learn to keep our focus on Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. And he said he loves us. He's, mm -hmm. he's going to take care of us. Mm -hmm. So I just thank God for helping everybody to help know. It's very important uh, when you go through something extreme hurt, mm -hmm. you can't give up mm -hmm. because if a person is not saved, mm -hmm. the end result is going to be hell. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you got to realize that you can't let your emotions get so far, get so far away from you, mm -hmm. then you forget about reason. Mm -hmm. There was a, the, a lady, she had um, caught her husband in, in bed with another woman. She killed both of them and then she killed herself. Right. So she let her emotions get so far. Mm -hmm. She was a Christian, mm -hmm. and she, killed, she committed suicide mm -hmm. because of what she saw. Right. And so, so what happened in that book, Divine Revelation of Hell, right. there's a lady, mm -hmm. uh, Jesus actually went down to hell, actually visited the same lady. Mm -hmm. And see, her fate was sealed mm -hmm. because of what she did. But if she had a simply Forgive. forgiven mm -hmm. and and let, and let the Lord handle the situation, mm -hmm. she would not have committed suicide. She let her emotions go so far. So mm -hmm. we, we can't, when people go through so much hurt, mm -hmm. so much pain, mm -hmm. only the Lord really understands the depth of the pain, pain mm -hmm. and the depth of the hurt mm -hmm. that they're going through. Mm -hmm. But they got to, they got to try. Yes. They got to look at Jesus because mm -hmm. they, they can't handle it themselves. Mm -hmm. If they try to handle it themselves, they're going to go the natural route right. and, and do the wrong thing. Right. But they're going to have to look at Jesus. This is why this program is so important for yes. folk yes. to give their life to Jesus yes. so that he can help them go through those things. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And I can relate to a lot of things that we, you know, that each one of you all share in so many different ways. I mean, because even looking at my personal life, like I even dealt with that as a teenager, mm -hmm. thoughts of suicide. Some things I would not even share with my mom at times. And, and even now, I, now that I'm, a, I'm an adult, um, um, I still have thoughts of it, but God is teaching me that there is only one way, and that's, that's his, through his name. And so he's teaching me how to pray. He's teaching me how to re when is who's the right people to like um, as I speak to him. Who can I approach and who even if even if um, someone that really knows how to really intercede for you to like because you may not be strong enough to handle the things that you're dealing with. Um, but um and what but the thing as I'm just trying to get at is that it doesn't have to be with your generation. It can start with you. Yes. Mm -hmm. Um and because the I even not just looking at just myself but. Even in college, um, I had some, like, there's some people that stayed in my dorm. I think I even came across one of them um, out of the, the number that had actually committed suicide and died. Um, and, and, you know, they're here no longer here. But, um, I mean, I, there's many times I wish I reached out to him or at least give him some more hope. Than, but anyway, so much for that. But the point is that, um, oh, I'm sorry. And then I even had a, um, this last year, I even had a cousin of mine that I wasn't so close to, but... Um, young guy had a life ahead of you know ahead of him um, about to get recently married had, you know I'm not gonna share what he did but he's no longer here with us right. but I wish that he did but right. the thing is um, it, 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 I, I, I took that as a way so like, yes I like even though the family um, and all the different things that happen around me you know um, it's heartbreaking and for you know many people who are connected to these individuals you don't realize how how connected and, and how your actions affect other people um, but it can stop with your generation so mm -hmm. it doesn't have to be um, this teenage generation or you can stop with you right mm -hmm. now um, see cry out to God Psalms 107 6 says mm -hmm. um, that's how um, the people cry out to God and literally cried out to God and he um, delivered them from their distress so mm -hmm. God can deliver you from thoughts of suicide God can mm -hmm. deliver you from um, I don't know just just any suicidal mm -hmm. act or thought because I know when I had dealt with um, thoughts of suicide I mean I know the dead enemy would just be working things in my mind because that's what he does he attacks the, um, the great men and women of God or even those who are maybe in the world but has a great God still has a great calling upon your life still attack their mind but God will always come to like put something in my mind that maybe not do go follow through with what I do mm -hmm. I you know I, I want to say that you know I've tried committing suicide a couple of times because of what was going on in our home you know my mom I, you know hating to see 
what my mother was going through and hating to see the verbal abuse. You know, people don't understand. Parents, calm down on your children. You know, calm. you got to calm down. And I understand we live in such a world where we're busy. I understand mm -hmm. it because I'm a single mother. I'm divorced. And I have children. But, you know, we have, have to get, check myself. You know, check myself. You know, Nita, calm down. You know, calm down. They're children, so you have to calm down. Learn how to talk to you too, because, and also, the, but the children has to learn how to talk to you as well. And I'm not saying i um, let the children get away with stuff. Now, that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is that certain things we impart into our children. Mm -hmm. All you have to do, parents and elderly people or older people that are looking, look at your life. If you if you had a home that was challenged, you had things going into your home. Look at your life, because in a lot of those homes, it was a lot of depression. Mm -hmm. Things that look like it's shining, it may not be shining, because we had a young lady who was a twin, and somebody just was telling me about just committed suicide. A well-known young girl, a teenager on one of them shows. I can't think of the name of it right now. But, you know, and, and there is a way out. I'm, I'm glad that I'm alive to tell you it's going to be all right. Mm -hmm. But just don't take your life. It's, it's going to be all right. And I understand, like I said, some people... Or in situations where they're being abused mm -hmm. sexually. Mm -hmm. They're going to be abused verbally. And they don't have anybody to talk to. Maybe the person they talked to went and talked to the other person. And then there they were. Or they went to the school. And then maybe they were taken away from their home. Or they went to the school. And then the school talked to the family. So now they're in deeper trouble. You know, because mm -hmm. once that child in that, that, that and even elderly are being abused as well. Once they're in the, that environment, nobody can see nor hear between what's going on in those four walls. So people are being abused. And so, you know, so the easy way out, just commit suicide. Mm -hmm. You know, just take your life because you have no purpose anyway. But I promise you, one thing I know, that when you have a relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ, and repent if you, you've called these psychics, if you've gotten to these Ouija boards, or if you've gotten into certain things, because it, 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 it invites spirits. Mm -hmm. I know. Yeah. I used to call psychics. I sure did. Mm -hmm. I called the psychic, and the psychic was trying to get me to, to join them. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, yeah. it's funny. Yeah. So I drove to, uh, I was telling them about what I was saying. So, I, so they said, oh, you sound like you're one of us. I said, oh, really? Wow. So and I was thinking I was about, what, 20? And so they, they invited me to come to, they had a meeting down there in uh, Greensboro. So I drove to Greensboro, or Charlotte, I'm sorry, one of them, I can't think, remember which one. So I drove down there, and they were meeting um, in this building, and, and it was a store, actually. And so when I walked in, and I remember curtains, I remember I was supposed to go through this, that they were meeting back there, but something wouldn't let me go. Something would not yeah. let me go. And so, um, you know, I've done some other things, you know, getting connected with some psychics. But but each time these psychics would tell me to do things that was not in the word of God. So I want to say to those of you who consider yourselves a Christian, you're calling psychics, um, or you're doing some things that's not in the word of God, is considered witchcraft. I'm sorry. If, mm -hmm. you know, all this stuff you're doing, you, mm -hmm. you think it is God. Yes. But if it's not in here, as, I, as a young girl growing up, you have older people try, telling you stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, and as a young person, you don't know. I've had an anointed woman of God who I love so dearly told me to do something. I did it because she, I felt like she was anointed. She heard from God. Well, it was witchcraft. God said, what you did isn't in my word. Mm -hmm. And I was like, no, Lord. Well, it's witchcraft. Mm -hmm. God said, suffer not a witch mm -hmm. to live. So mm -hmm. we can't do both and expect God to move. So I advise you, I want to encourage you, repent and turn from your wicked ways. And those are the teenagers that are you 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 could you uh, thinking about committing suicide if you tried and, and the older people with 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 Miss Mar with uh, Miss Rosa Gu and each one has shared on this panel you know we just want to encourage you encourage you. it it we, it it will get better you know those that are watching we are going to pray for you it is going to get better you know we will give you our contact information and we will put your name on the altar we will take your prayers. Um, or Amen. however you need to contact Amen. us, and we will pray for you because we know yes. it's painful. Yes. You know, you're not in this mm -hmm. by yourself because we seem like it, we feels like we're by ourselves. Can imagine your friend at the hospital for two weeks, mm -hmm. you know, going mm -hmm. through this. You're not mm -hmm. by yourself. You know, there's so many homes without fathers, and so the young boys going through. Then we turn to drugs and alcohol. I, I start smoking marijuana at a really young age. Because that was, I, that's why I asked, what was your way of escape? Well, mm -hmm. back then it was not Jesus. Because mm -hmm. I was young. You know, I was puffing. And it took me to another place. 
So it made me forget about my pain for a minute. But the thing is, he introduced me. Mm -hmm. My mom's boy, he introduced me to this. And so there I am, you know, smoking this stuff. You know, but that was my way of escape. It helped me. So he brought all kinds of demons into our lives. Mm -hmm. But it helped me to build a testimony. This is mm -hmm. why now, you know, at the age I'm in now, I, 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 I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Amen. I'm not ashamed of it, Rose Ogu. Mm -hmm. I'm not ashamed of the hostess today, okay. Kaisha. I'm not ashamed. I'm not ashamed. I believe in the power of God of deliverance. I, I believe that those who, who are trying to commit suicide or even thinking about it, I believe God's going to deliver them. So they can go deliver somebody else. Any else thing, anything else you want to share with us today, Kaisha? Uh, no, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, ma <laughs> anything else you would like to share with us today? Um, yes. Um, just to encourage everyone, we all go through some of the similar things. And to the people out there, know that when you're going through these things and these struggles that we all have and face, mm -hmm. that we're not going through them just to go through them. God is not trying to hurt us. That's right. He's only trying to build us, mold us, and shape us so that he knows that he can trust us mm -hmm. to carry the things that he wants us to carry. Mm -hmm. And we're not just going through these things just to go through them. And um, God does love you. And I uh, just want everybody to be encouraged and know that there is purpose for you here. Yes. Yes. Amen. Yes. Awesome. Yes. Anything you'd like to share with us, Mr. Pratt, as a, as a um, male? Um, I know you see so much, and of course you've gone through so much being a black male at that. Um, um, anything else you would like to share to encourage um, some some man that that might be sitting watching this program right now and he's thinking about committing suicide because you know things have just been so rough. One thing that I found out from my experience, you can actually feel that um, that spirit mm -hmm. yeah. trying to cause you to do something, right. and you have to realize you can't let it go so far. Yeah. Because the further you let it encroach. And Croach, you have to stop it before it gets started. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because I felt I felt that and it had happened to me, some things I was going through. Right. Mm -hmm. I felt those thoughts come, and I had to stop them. Right. How did mm -hmm. you stop it? Mm -hmm. I mean, what, that, tell, tell me, how it, would you encourage some man to stop it? What, what are some of the things you did? Because I know, um, you know, I'm, I'm getting to know you. How, what are some things that you did? I, actually, you know, I, I prayed, mm -hmm. and I realized... Um, but the res if I d went, went so far, mm -hmm. it would would attach itself with, yes, to me. Right. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you a person they can allow those thoughts to go so far, then action takes place, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then the result of the action mm -hmm. they don't want to go that far. Because mm -hmm. I knew that if I went too far with it, mm -hmm. the result would be hell. Right. And in hell, there's no water, there's no rest. And um, you get in this torture. Mm -hmm. it's, it's just an indescribable mm -hmm. pain, mm -hmm. and 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 also to be completely without the presence of God. Mm -hmm. It's not there. Mm -hmm. And all those things that hell has, mm -hmm. a person does not need mm -hmm. to go there. Right. Their life is so important. Yes. God loved them so much yes. that He gave His only begotten Son, right. so that nobody there's a way of escape. That right. nobody escape. has to die lost. Mm -hmm. You have to stay strong. You have to mm -hmm. realize mm -hmm. I don't have to do this. Mm -hmm. Too many other people are going to be affected, mm -hmm. and the way out is Jesus. Yes. You got to trust Him no matter what. Yes. Even though you're going through pain, yes. you have to trust Him. Mm -hmm. You have to. You yeah. can't let him go, yes. no matter what. No matter what. No matter what. And you know, when you th we, we, we think about it, those you know, because we're gonna have people watching who are not believers. Mm -hmm. You know, and I and I just you know, I'm one of those. Um, I understand those who don't believe because show me. You know, uh, right. I need to see some miracles. You know, okay, if your God is real, why is all this stuff happening in the world? Well, why? Mm -hmm. you know, I've heard some people say. I met a young boy at the um, park one day. He said, "Well, it's God is real. Well, why did so and so die?" You know, which I understand that, which I understand. See, I would have been that way too, but I had a grandmother who was always talking about the Lord. You know, but then, but when you leave the house, you learn on your own. Well, I had some encounters. The Lord had to really show me. The Lord showed me that He was real. You know, it's something that nobody can give to me nor can they take away. In many situations, you know, many circumstances, and so those that are watching who've been in situations, you know, who who, who may be strung out right now on drugs, crack cocaine, they're young. You know, watching on a meth, meth. And they got think they got something else else out there now. They don't meth and they don't know 
what they can do. They've been lying so much, cheating so much, stealing so much, they don't know what to do. You know, on cocaine or, or different kind of drugs to become a prostitute, to, to get the drugs and, and, and sell out on the kids to get the drugs. There is hope in the Lord Jesus Christ. There is hope in the Lord Jesus Christ. There he is a deliverer. He is a deliverer. Those that call Amen. upon the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, you, it didn't say you if, it didn't say and, it didn't say you maybe, it said you shall be saved. That's what the word of God says. It says that you shall be saved. You mm-hmm. shall be saved. And so I'm, I'm, I'm so thankful that I'm allowed to tell my story. Because I tried it multiple times. Because I was like, you know what? Forget this. I'm out of here. I'm, I'm checking out. I'm waking with a headache. Still alive. Still alive. Tell the story. Now, I'm scared to do all that cutting stuff. Wasn't doing that. But, you know, I did other kind of ways. Mm-hmm. And so, but this is just to encourage you. Don't just, as Shonda shared and each one shared, don't, don't give up. You know, reach out for help. We, you know, we'll leave our, our phone numbers and, you know, the information to be on the website as well and, and on the credits. You know, um, uh, we would just pray for you. I would pray that, that the power of darkness be broken off your life and you're in a situation and you just don't know how you're going to get out of it. You know, there's some young children that may be molested. They, they're not able to watch. Maybe they act as some, some parents will leave in front of the TV and they might be watching. You know, there is a way out. You know, and I, I, one of the things I noticed that people who really get attacked with suicide, they're really, really gifted people. They're into arts. Like we have an artist here that's on the show. You know, we have a singer. She's a psalmist. She's extremely gifted. And this woman of God is into art. And, and she's a nurse. And she's seen so many things. And I'm not quite sure what this baby doing, but I know this baby's <laughs> going to be a public, great, awesome public speaker. And we know Miss Jewel, she's just the name just tells it all. You know, she, she, um, she's a woman of compassion. You know, we had a young man this year who broke into our home. He was drunk as a skunk, drunk and 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 and, um, and on drugs, and you know. But we we prayed the power of God upon him. So so I would just want to say to the nation and those who watch this show, you know, those who God is grace to watch this, and you have a relative and you just you know don't you want to help them, but you just don't sound like you have no. Just pray, pray for them, pray for them. And, you know, the, the Lord, I believe God is raising up at such a time as this, those who are anointed. Young people, like we have on this panel. Young people, of course, you know, older people. But young people that he pours out his spirit and then he uses you for his Lord. It's not saying being like, Holy Ghost, holier than thou. I'm telling you, what, like, I'm, I'm four, in my 40s now. When I had a, a 40-year-old woman coming up to me at y'all age, I couldn't stand them Because they were telling me, <laughs> yeah, take those clothes off. And I'm thinking to myself, you know what, what you need to do. Because it's very outspoken. Mm-hmm. You need to back it up. You need to you need to um, get away from my presence. That's what you need to do. You got them clothes on. God, I don't like that. Well, can you show some love with me? Mm-hmm. <laughs> right. You know, I wasn't disrespectful to him. But, you know, like I said, I, I, I'm very, very outspoken. And I was like, you know, that's not God. If, if you, any older people watching this show and you're trying, to, well, you're trying to win the young folks, you're not going to win young folks like that. You didn't tap those clothes up. No, you are not going to win them. That way, I got them tie old jeans, and boy, boy, you need to pull your pants up. Maybe they do. It makes them continue to do it, uh, doing yeah. it that way. Yeah. I remember I wore my stuff. My heart just stopped and just show all my life. Just show my stuff. <laughs> yes, I was showing it. <laughs> showing it. Look at it, world. I get it. Look, yeah. world. Just look. I was letting it all hang out. That's right. But I had a woman of God who's a mighty woman of God, Reverend Audrey Coppins, who fed the North Carolina. She was my neighbor, and uh, when I would see her, I knew she was a minister. So. When I would come home and I would see her, I'd keep going. God, I didn't want her to get out and see what I was wearing. Mm-hmm. And so one day I got out and she ran out there. She said, oh, my goodness, you look so cute. And I had my halter top <laughs> on and I had my, the, my, my skin-tight pants on. She said, oh, you look so cute. I'm, I'm, in my mind, I'm saying, a minister is saying this to me? You look mm-hmm. so cute. She said, I have such cute clothes to give you. And I'm thinking, uh, okay. (laughs) Well, she gave me halter tops. A minister gave me halter tops and gave me shorts and short and I wore them clothes. I was like, oh, you know, oh, I got to go in hell. But what happened is I I, um, I surrendered my all to the Lord eventually. And uh, God got me on the dance floor. That's what I'm telling you. He got me on the dance floor. I don't know how God got you or any of you that are watching. God got me. I was on the dance floor. Like I said, I lie. Hey, I'm, I got, I'm done the thing. You know, I'm stuck. So I'm on the dance floor, and the Lord spoke to me on the dance floor. And God saved me. I got mine. He told me, don't spend your New Year's in this club. And so 
I went home. By the time I got home, the power of God hit me. He told me to flush all my drugs down the toilet. And the thing is, I was taught in my family that marijuana is a herb. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and so I was like, well, I'm not flushing all the marijuana. You, you have the boy said, you got to flush that too. Flush the marijuana. And when I flushed it, I'm telling you, my home, the home just was overtaken by the power of God. That's what I'm saying. I know nobody told me. You know, nobody didn't say, you know, receive it, you know. I didn't go through that. Maybe you did. Yeah. I didn't. I was at home. And so God delivered me. So I was, you know, so I wasn't wearing clothes. But as I got to know her and I think I was, you know, still drinking milk and I started eating some meat, she, she told me. But she gave me those clothes. She said, I was praying for you. So she used those clothes at a, as a point of contact. Mm -hmm. And I, I surrendered my all to the Lord. And so some will water. Some, some, some will plant seeds and some will water. But the Lord will get the increase. Mm -hmm. So keep planting Amen. seeds. Change. If, if you wonder what God is not filling your churches, well, he said he'll draw all men to us, didn't he? Amen. And, and that's what his word says. Mm -hmm. Well, yes. if you're not drawing no folks to your church, well, you need to check yourself out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Check out what you do. Are you fasting and praying? Are you so much into your numbers growing? We need to save our, our young people. Our young people need help. They're dying. Mm -hmm. Our men are dying. Our elderly people are dying. Our nurses are dying. College mm -hmm. students are dying. We need, we, need to, we need to shift some things. Young people who know the power of God, get on your knees and pray. Mm -hmm. Get on your knees and pray. Call out to God. We need help. Mm -hmm. We need help. Mm -hmm. We need some help. Even closing words, LaShonda Lee? Um, just, I mean, keep, just keep your focus on God. Mm -hmm. um, keep your mind on God. When you have a lot of idle time, usually that's when the enemy creeps in your mind and you allow certain things he'll speak to you and you'll start to believe these things that the devil is telling you that people don't love you and you don't belong in this place or you shouldn't be this or you shouldn't be that but God says differently yes. and I was one that the devil did speak to me because I had a lot of idle time and mm -hmm. he made me believe that my father didn't love me made me believe that my brothers and sisters didn't love me everybody was against me and he even he would, I would start to hear these voices, though I always thought that somebody was talking about me, mm -hmm. but God had to get a hold of my mind, yes. and it took for me to say, you know, that's enough. Enough is enough. Enough is mm -hmm. enough. When you make up in your mind, mm -hmm. that enough is enough. Mm -hmm. God will meet you the rest of the way because you know, he senses and he knows that you're ready. Mm -hmm. And um, that's how deliverance took place in my life. And I'm still, you know, God's still working on some things in me, but I know that I'm not where I used to be. Thank so God. just keep pushing mm -hmm. and just keep your head up and um, God will meet you. Amen. Amen. We don't want to leave this show without giving you some contact information. Um, uh, we'll definitely leave you our information as well um, that you can definitely contact us. Um, and we would definitely, you know, we, we will pray for you because um, we want, we know what it's like to be in pain. Um, but there's some suicide numbers also I'm going to give you as well. Um, there's a radio station, Caleb. Um, it, it does a lot of worship. Um, Caleb, Caleb radio station, they have a hotline. They have pastors on staff that will pray for you 24 hours a day. Um, it's 1-800-784-2433. 1-800-784-2433 or 1-800-SUICIDE. 1-800-SUICIDE. Um, there's also um, another other hotline number I'm going to release to you. 1-800-525-LOVE. Again, and that's 1-800-525-5683. Uh, 1 800 525 5683. And then another number is 1 888 937 2471. 1 888 937 2471. And so, and then um, we thank you so very much for taking out the time to uh, share with us today. Uh, we thank you so very much for, for listening. And um, we, we trust that. Um, Something was said from each one of us that um, that reached a hit home um, that would allow you to see things um, differently, that you can see light um, that God spoke to you today. And so we want to close out in prayer. Um, and Sean, if you can close us out in prayer. Mm -hmm. 
Father God, we thank you, oh God, for this time, oh God, that we were able, oh God, to reach, oh God, and share, oh God, and teach, oh God, with your people, oh God, and viewers watching, oh God. Father God, we ask, oh God, that Oh, God, somebody, oh, God, out there got something, oh, God, from today, oh, God, that they are encouraged, oh, God, by what we spoke, oh, God, on today, oh, God, that hopefully it reaches, oh, God, the people, oh, God, of God, and God, if somebody is not saved, oh, God, we pray, oh, God, that you would prick, oh, God, their very hearts, oh, God, to touch them, oh, God, oh, God, and give them, oh, God, a personal encounter, oh, God, somebody who may be struggling, oh, God, where they don't believe, oh, God, that you exist, oh, God, oh, God, show them, oh, God, who you are, oh, God, that you came, died, and rose, oh, God, for us, oh, God, and died for our sins, oh, God. Father God, we just thank you, oh God, for each every indivi individual, oh God, on this show, oh God. We thank you, oh God, for this show, oh God. We pray, oh God, that it would continue, oh God, to encourage everyone, oh God, that it would reach the nation, oh God, in the name of Jesus, God. We thank you for it is already done, oh God. We decree and we declare it's already done in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 You can reach Amen. Iron Sharp. Uh, you've talked now. <laughs> you can reach us at P.O. Box 2055. Um, Chapel Hill, North Carolina. Again, that's um, P.O. Box, Chapel Hill, North Carolina, 2055. Um, uh, Chapel Hill, North Carolina, 27515. And we do have an email address, um, which is Anita Wilson Ministries at gmail.com. Again, Anita Wilson Ministries at gmail.com. And uh, we also have our website, um, it's Anita Wilson Ministries.com. Again, I mean, you have to do www. So www. Anita Wilson Ministries. Uh, com, and so you can definitely send us a you know leave us a prayer request, and we also have some prayer books um, that we that we would love to send to you to teach you how to pray, um, and we'll definitely we'll pay for the shipping and the handling. Um, um, so you, you can eat also um, find us on Facebook as well, um, and so. You know, we would love to, to hear from you. Uh, we will definitely, uh, we want to expose your information, but we will put your prayer requests on the altar. We'll bring it before the Lord, and we'll pray, we pray with you, and we know that God will move. I, we have no doubt. Mm -hmm. It's no if he will move. We know that he will move. And so we stretch our hands to the camera, yes. everyone. Thank you, Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we set ourselves in agreement of prayers that LaShonda Lee has prayed. Yes, yes, yes. God, we lift up every 